how it travels. Today I thought we'd do a kind of a, a quick uh, real-time review of the Scrubber Mini. And this is essentially a dry bag with a valve on it here. And it also has a hardened plastic bottom with uh, little nodules as you can see there which agitate the soap. Now I do have another video which you can watch by clicking in the corner uh, and that is showing how you can use a dry bag uh, to wash your clothes. The dry bag I have here is a four litre um, with a little clear window. Um, now this bag, this dry bag itself is half the weight of this dry bag while it's empty. Previously in that video I mentioned why you'd want to use a dry bag over uh, the specifically designed scrubber and the main reasons that I mentioned were because the scrubber original one is twice as large and that's twice as heavy. In that video I said um, you know you didn't necessarily need a valve or the agitation so with a regular dry bag you can just sort of press the air out and then roll it and then you know uh, agitate your clothing like that way. So the size is roughly the same in terms of the amount you can store in here. This one they recommend rolling it up about that much so the size ends up being about similar. And also with this one they recommend the amount of clothes to wash in here is two pairs of underwear and two pairs of socks. So for this demonstration I actually have, I have a pair of Uniqlo Airism underwear and some Merino underwear and a merino t-shirt. I also forgot to mention that I do uh, use my dry bags as like a toiletry bag so I carry all my toiletries and towels and sort of wet stuff in here when I'm traveling um, so that way I can easily grab it out take it into the bathroom and all my items for uh, in the bathroom are in one place. So for the soap I'm just going to use this Dr. Bronner's uh, which I have in my house. You can get smaller bottles of that for traveling. So if we look at the instructions at the top here you can see it says to fill with the clothing and the water up to the line here um, so depending on many things you're putting in there and it says to roll it one two three four five six times uh, or, or five times and then flip it. So I actually ended up filling the water to just under the uh, second or just under the four mark and uh, I'm just going to add the soap just a few drops. You can actually add this soap as you're adding the water uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and roll according to the steps there. Right there. And as you can see, nice with the air inside. So I'm going to keep the water level below the valve here and then Release the valve. And I can see that the water is seeping out of the valve, so I think that means it's enough. So now with the air out of the bag, uh, you're supposed to agitate it. I can feel that the material is quite strong. It does feel quite durable just to get a bit more agitation through the clothing. Now for the rinse I usually like to hold the, uh, the top there just so that there's enough room for the water to come out and then hold the clothes in place. And then just add uh, fresh water. So for the rinse I have just added fresh water, I tipped out the soapy water. And then you repeat the process. Let the air out. See if you go too far the, the water actually comes out the valve. So do be careful to twist the valve enough so that the water doesn't come out. But I have noticed just now that, I don't know if you can see, it looks like there's a crack in the plastic valve there. So that's one point for quality. I also noticed a bit of water is leaking out from the top here. Uh, I don't know whether that's because I didn't roll it enough times, so be careful to roll it enough times before you clip it. All right, so now for the process of excelling the drying of the wet, damp clothes. 
A little trick that I learned is to get a towel, and then you put your clothes onto it, and then you can kind of roll them up. And then the towel absorbs a lot of the extra moisture. And then when they're a bit less damp, then you'd be able to hang them and dry them quicker. And you can repeat this process as many times as you need. All right, so let's do a little bit of a quick summary after my first time using the, uh, the scrubber wash bag mini. It's very, it's a, it's a nice dry bag. I must say uh, the quality is nice uh, from what I can feel and see. The uh, bottom pad is nice. I don't think it's particularly necessary, uh, to be honest. Um, the scrubbing nudges you can see there. This pad is what adds the extra weight as well because it is quite a solid bit of plastic there. Now the actual material of this bag compared with this one, I would say that the actual, you know, the actual inner fabric, the lighter part of it is the same. They're both tape sealed, you know, they both have a good uh, airtight seal when you roll it enough. So uh, when I did the second rinse, I didn't roll it enough times to this point here. So you do got to be careful to roll it close enough times to get a, a watertight seal on the top. And I also did notice here the valve uh, cap, which is just a twist mechanism, uh, but it is cracked. A bit of plastic on the valve there. It definitely has a crack in it. And I don't know whether that affected the uh, water tightness because it was leaking a little bit until I tightened it more. So for the price of this bag, uh, I think that is a bit worrying on my first use that uh, it cracked. Like I said, I think it is still watertight. Personally, uh, for me, I don't think that a valve on a dry bag is completely necessary. When you are packing your regular dry bag with clothes inside, you just kind of push the air out and then clip it shut. And then there's not really any or much air in there when you're doing your wash. So for me, having a valve like that is actually an extra point of weakness. Uh, you know, it's, it's one more moving part that can go wrong and break. Uh, whereas with a regular dry bag, you know, it's, it's just a bag. The main things that are going to go wrong with this is possibly the clip might break or that you might get a hole in it. This is actually cheaper uh, and um, perhaps easy to replace uh, than this. I know you can get this in a lot of places, but it is a little bit, almost twice the price, a bit more expensive. Um, whereas like a, just a dry bag, even any kind of dry bag, even a plastic bag, you can kind of do your laundry in a pinch. So it's really a quick and easy way to do that. So overall, I think that, you know, this is a good product. And if you are the kind of person that likes to have the agitation nodules uh, and a valve for convenience uh, to get the air out, um, then I think it is, you know, uh, it could be worth it for some people. Personally, I do think I will stick with a regular dry bag. The, uh, the seams are tape sealed and it's just as uh, good, really. I mean, it does the job in essentially the same way. Usually when I use this one, I agitate the clothes with my hands first and then I close it and then I do a rinse with the actual bag. But you know, you can do the same thing in a hotel sink. So. so overall, I do think it's kind of just a personal choice, really. A lot of people do tell me in the comments that they like the nodules and the valve. But yeah, personally, I think a regular dry bag uh, which is going to double as a toiletry bag for me, uh, does a trick just as well. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Do leave a comment below if you have or tried one of these, or if you use a different method for washing your clothes on the go. And be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.